grass? What? Why? Mm, no. Mm -mm. On me? Absolutely not. Sugar cookie type of scent. I'm not a big fan of that. This box is a really good deal. I like it. fine crew welcome back to fine beauty bible i am so excited right now i'm actually just sitting right on my bed because we're about to do a super casual quick little video i bought this fragrance set from sephora it's called one of their sephora favorites boxes and if you have never heard of these they are the best fragrance deal at sephora the way it works you get this box it is full of little fragrance samplers that are about the size of this. Same size as a regular fragrance sample. Best thing about this set is that although it comes with eight to ten of the little samples inside, when you are done picking which one of those is your favorite, it actually comes with a little voucher inside of the box for you to redeem it for a full size of whichever one of these you like the best. It's a really great deal and it's a great way to buy a fragrance for someone without needing to personally pick one out for them. You just sort of give them this box, the men's one even comes in a nice toiletry bag, um, and they can try on a different fragrance every day until they land on one that they really fall in love with, and then they just take the voucher to a Sephora store and get the full size of it of whichever one is their favorite. The boxes usually retail for about $65 to $80 each, and some of the fragrances in here, when I redeem it for the full size, are worth well over $90 to $100. So you are literally saving money by buying this set for $68 trying out all the options in it and redeeming it for something that's worth even more than what you paid. They offer them in different types of scents. They have one that is their Sephora best sellers. They have one specifically for vanilla fragrances. Um, they have one specifically for men's colognes. And then this one is a new one that they came out with called their Clean Fragrance Sampler. So this video is going to be part sniffing, part fragrance information, part vlog. A little fun. All right, let's get into it. Um, so as you know, Sephora has a whole little section of their store where it is dedicated to clean beauty brands. You guys know how I feel about that word, clean beauty brands. There's really not any specific guidelines or specifications within the beauty industry that make a brand clean or not. It's more so up to that brand and what their personal ethics are and what kind of formulations they consider to be clean. So I say all that to say all of the fragrances in this set are going to be approved by Sephora's Clean at Sephora program. And so if you're using it, I guess you don't have to worry about any toxic fragrance ingredients. I don't know what types of ingredients in a fragrance could possibly be toxic to begin with, but that's neither here nor there. Now, let's get into the fun part. Is actually, you guys are going to help me choose which one of these I like the best because I'm taking a trip to Sephora this evening and that's when I want to redeem for my full size. Okay, now let's get into it. The first one is going to be by the brand Ellis Brooklyn and the fragrance is called Myth. They describe it as a warm floral. The keynotes are amber seeds, jasmine petals, and musk. Amber seeds sounds good. Jasmine petals sometimes scares me because I'm not always a fan of floral fragrances. And musk, I like that. That might be what makes me actually like it. I'll let that dry. While that dries, I will spray the next one, which is by Clean Reserve, and it's called Radiant Nectar. This one is described as a fresh citrus and fruit type of scent. Mm, mm, I don't think I'm gonna be a fan of that. And the keynotes are amber seeds, musk, oh, just like the last one. Um, and then instead of jasmine petals, this one has pear nectar. I usually do not like citrusy fragrances on me, so I don't know about that. I just feel like anytime citrusy fragrance interacts with my body chemistry, it smells like sweat. I don't know what it is about it. Like anything with cucumber, grapefruit, lemon, like mm, on me, absolutely not there. The third one is going to be by the brand Seven Virtues and it's called Vanilla Woods. This one I already know that I like because I actually own the travel size of this already. You guys have seen it in Brit's recent beauty. I've picked this fragrance up since months ago and it is described as a warm and sweet gourmand and its notes are described as pear, rose, and vanilla. But to me, I don't really smell the pear or the rose in it. Like, I just feel like Vanilla Woods is a perfect vanilla scent that is sweet and inviting and just like 
warm, cozy without giving that sugar cookie type of scent that a lot of vanilla fragrances give. Um, I love Vanilla Woods. It's actually the reason I picked up this box because I know the retail price of Vanilla Woods is $85 and this set was only $68. So when I saw that Vanilla Wood was included in the box, that's literally what made me buy the box because I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna bother to smell the rest of them. I'm just gonna take this certificate and redeem it for a Vanilla Wood and boom, I got $20 off. Um, but, you know, I have the box now, so I might as well try them all. So yeah, I already know that I love this one, but I'm gonna spray it just for comparison's sake. It's there, and now I'm gonna smell the first three that I did. So the first one was the Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Okay, I like that. I like it. It is warm, but not warm in a sugar cookie, vanilla, type of way it's warm in a just like overall moody kind of scent it's not smoky but it gives me the same fragrance personality as something that would be smoky and woodsy yeah they describe it as a warm floral but yeah yeah okay i could see that warm floral for sure the next one was the clean reserve radiant nectar i don't mm, i don't know about this one. Oh my god I actually love that. Radiant Nectar. No, I actually love that. Wow. I have never liked a citrus fragrance before, like ever. Even if, even on a blind nose test, I'd never go for the citrusy scents. I don't, it really doesn't even smell citrusy to me. This smells like a, it smells like honey. It smells like warm honey. It smells like honey and vanilla. I do not get any type of Okay, you know what? It's probably because it has those amber seeds and the liquid musk and the pear nectar. So it's not like lemony type of citrus. It's more so, I think they're referring to the pear. Oh my God. And Vanilla Woods, I love, as I described, is like the perfect vanilla. Okay, okay, so, so far, I'm, out of those three, I like the one that I thought I would hate the most, the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. And my second favorite is the Vanilla Woods so far. The Myth one is pretty good, but I can eliminate that one, I think. The next one is by a brand called Skylar. You might have seen, they have a whole bunch of different scents, like every possible scent you could think of, they have a version. This one is Coconut Cove. I feel like I'm not gonna like that. I usually do not like the way coconut things smell <laughs> on my body. So this one has bergamot and coconut and a little bit of ambro. And they describe it as a fresh solar type of scent. So I guess it gives you like a sunny, refreshing type of vibe. Mm, no, mm-mm. Oh my God, I want that off my hand right now. I, mm-mm. Ugh, I don't like that at all. It, exactly what i thought it smells of pure coconut oh i don't like that mm -mm. no no what's next <laughs> that was not it another one by maison louis marie um this brand actually only has like four main scents that i see at sephora this one that's in it is called warm woods its notes are sandalwood vetiver and amber wood what that is right up my alley oh, i'm excited for this one Oh, I'm excited for this. Those are literally some of my favorite fragrance notes. Sandalwood, vetiver, and amber. Like, what? Hmm. I guess I'll just let it dry down and see how I like it in a couple minutes. I all, all I smell right now is like a hint of, I don't smell anything warm about this. It's literally called warm wood and I don't smell anything warm or woodsy or sandalwood, vetiver or amber about it. All I smell is alcohol. I'm not a big fan of that. The notes really like hyped it up and I, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that at all, no. I think I'm gonna eliminate that one because it doesn't smell better than, mm, oh my gosh, this Radiant Nectar and the Vanilla Woods, those are it right now. Those are those are the top two. So far, the two worst ones are the ones I just, is the one I just did and that Coconut Cove. 
Oh, I did not like that. The next one is by a brand called Floral Street and it is the Sunflower Pop. And they describe this as a fresh citrus and fruit. Oh my goodness. If there's any fragrances I hate even more than citrus, it's fruity fragrances. I, I just think that they give such a childish air to me. Like I just feel like I'm using a Bath and Body Works body mist when I use fruity fragrances. So I, I, oh, I'm not excited for this. Keynotes include bergamot, honey accord. Okay, maybe the honey will help it redeem itself. And Bellini accord. Bellini as in grapefruit? Oh goodness gracious, please. Why do they call it sunflower pop if it's citrus and fruit? Why would they not name a floral fragrance sunflower pop? You know what? I'm not on their product development team, okay? Let's just spray the fragrance. I'll let that dry down. And in the meantime, I'll let, oh my God, I don't like that. I smelled it before I even put my nose to my hand. Ugh. Oh, that is straight lemony. What? They said that it has bergamot, Bellini Accord, and honey Accord. I smell no honey. I smell no bergamot. All I smell is that Bellini. Straight grapefruit lemon. Oh, I want that off. I should have had a wipe or something. I want that off my skin right now before it sets. No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I want it off me right now. Mm. Next, we have a floral scent by Rosie Jan, and the scent is called Layla Lou. They describe it as a fruity floral. Again, not a fan. <laughs> and the key notes in it are pear, jasmine, and freshly cut grass. Grass? What? Why? All right, let's see. And the fact that this tester is already annoying. Like, why does it come in this type of package instead of the one with the spray? What's going on here? Whatever. Let's dab it on me. I smell the grass and I smell the floral that they're talking about. Like, oh, no, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. I have allergies and that literally made me feel like I'm outside. I feel like that was a springtime fragrance. If you like floral fragrances, you would love by Josie, by Rosie Jan Layla Lou. If you like floral springtime, like those types of fragrances that really just transport you to a certain time of year or a certain place, that is straight botanical garden right there. What? It's not my jam, but if you are a floral fragrance type of girl, this will be high up on your list. Like high up, because that is all it's giving. Straight floral, garden, grass, trees. Oh, I want that off me. Oh, Jesus, please don't be a disappointment. The last one. <laughs> the last one is described as a warm and spicy fragrance. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like. Warm, spicy, inviting, cozy grown sexy like come on give me something this is by the brand fleur i'm actually surprised that this is in here because fleur is a very like semi new fragrance brand um and usually the ones that are in these sets are like ones that are already best sellers and um you know the, the things that they know people love already so i'm really i like this set in particular because it comes with some new ones that have just come out within the past two years whereas a lot of the other set options that sephora sells um with this sampler that comes with the redemption card inside is like is coming with things like um carolina herrera good girl gucci bloom gucci guilty like all the fragrances they know everyone loves already this is like a really good type of discovery set um, because they actually include newer brands. All right, so the last one is Fleur Missing Person, and they describe this one as a warm and spicy fragrance. Um, oh, they actually describe this one as warm, spicy, and sheer. Sheer just means that it makes for a great layering fragrance. So I can wear this along with something else. And then the main notes are white musk, jasmine, and orange blossom. Oh! I'm so excited. Do you know what else I love that has orange blossom in it? The Glossier U fragrance and all of the Glossier Body Hero line. So like their body wash, body oil, and the Glossier U fragrance all have orange blossom and a little bit of jasmine in the formulation. So this is probably going to be like a more fragrant version of Glossier U. I'm excited. Okay, 
I like this one. It's warm. I don't smell much spice, how they said, but it definitely gives warm and inviting. I like it. I like that one. I see why they call it sheer as well, because this would do really well with like a punch of something slightly more spicy to pair with it, like Margiela by the fireplace or something. I like that one a lot. Okay, I'm now wondering, okay, this one is definitely in my top three. So my top three, so far I think my favorite is the Clean Radiant Nectar, the one that I said smelled like straight honey. My second favorite is like a tie between the Fleur Missing Person and the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. Mmm, I feel like out of these three that I'm holding, I need to own at least two of them. I, I would probably make my choice based on the retail price of all of them. Like, which one of these can I redeem to get the best deal? Probably not Vanilla Woods because Vanilla Woods in itself for the full size is only $85. So I can probably just buy that one outright if I really want to get the full size after I finish my travel spray. So I'm not gonna redeem, I'm not gonna use the coupon to redeem it on Vanilla Woods. I will just outright buy Vanilla Woods when I'm ready. But because Missing Person and the Radiant Nectar are both close to $100 each, I think that it would be a better deal for myself to use the redemption card on one of these. Because the Missing Person is so close to Glossy AU, which I already have, it has very similar notes, very similar like layering ability, very you know it smells like something i already own i think that i'm gonna skip out on the fleur missing person this time and use my redemption card for the clean reserve radiant nectar scent because i don't have anything that smells like this i don't even know if i would be able to layer this with anything that i own like it stands on its own as something that just smells really great i'm gonna use it on this one it doesn't smell like something i already own like it would be a true addition to my collection and not just something that complements what i already have so yes this box is a really good deal i like it this is the vlog part of the video I just wanted to check in with you to let you know what I actually did end up getting from the sale and the, the fragrance set that you saw me try. If you can hear a lot of noise in the background, I apologize. They're doing some construction on my street. They've been digging up the same hole for two months straight. But anyway, just to get into what I ended up using my fragrance certificate on, my game plan was to redeem it for the full size of the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. What I actually ended up doing was going onto the Sephora app and finding a great value set that had Radiant Nectar in it that actually came with the full size of Radiant Nectar plus the matching travel size. This is a $96 value to get both of these separately outright on its own and the set was only $68. Now. Right now, the Sephora holiday savings event is going on, which made it an extra 20% off. So I got $96 worth of Reserve Radiant Nectar fragrance for $55. Nuts. And then, remember, I did still want the full size of Vanilla Woods, but I was like, it's only $85, I can just buy that outright. Instead of buying the $85 Vanilla Woods outright, since I didn't end up using my fragrance certificate on the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar, I ended up using my fragrance certificate on Vanilla Woods. So just to do the math, if you were to follow the exact same game plan that I did, you would just be buying the fragrance sampler set for $68, $55 if you get 20% off during the sale and then you would be buying the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar set which is a $96 value that was also $68 which with 20% off would also be $55. So in total this is a $181 worth of fragrance that I bought for $110 thanks to a combination of shopping smart with holiday sets and using the Sephora sale benefits, which is 20% off. And that's how I did it. You see that? You see what I did there? Girl, I am a smart shopper, okay? $181 worth of fragrance for $110? Yeah, see, aren't you guys so glad you watched this video? By the way, the Sephora sale is on right now. I am going to do a video 
of Sephora sale products that I do recommend. But I already have done not only a Twitter thread of my recommendations for this year, but also if you just go back and watch my previous Sephora sale videos, my recommendations are still the same. Like I still recommend all of those. It's just now I also recommend some new things that I have tried since the last sale, which was in the springtime. I will link both the Twitter thread for this year's holiday savings event recommendations as well as my video from the spring savings event in the description of this video. So now let's just hop back into the part of this video that was not film vlog style and we'll close this out. Make sure you click those next links in the description box. Comment down below if you liked the little game plan I had here to save some money, get some good fragrances for sale and I'll talk to y'all later. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is super casual. I just wanted to go through all my different options with you guys. Just, you know, pump out some more videos besides the constant, you know, like skincare education, hardcore sit down and listen type of videos. Let me know in the comments if you have smelled any of these fragrances for yourself already before or if you're thinking about getting this set. I already put the link for it in the description below so that you can get your hands on it. And I would say if you're thinking about buying it, move quickly because these do not stay in stock for long. Everyone who's a frequent shopper at Sephora knows how good of a deal they are. So just like I told you guys I did, I already knew that I loved Nella Woods. So as soon as I saw it in the set, I bought the set. That's what a lot of people do. Most people that buy this set don't even bother to try the rest. They just buy it because they saw a fragrance they like in it and they know it's a good deal. So because of that, they do go out of stock quite often and stay out of stock for a very long time. So snatch that up at the link. Um, this was a lot of fun. I will definitely be dropping another video sometime next week. Make sure you subscribe below. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram. I'm more active on my personal Instagram than I am on the Fine Beauty Bible Instagram, admittedly. I will catch you guys next week for a whole new video here on Fine Beauty Bible. Have a wonderful upcoming week. Bye.